Hello guys, welcome back to Sand VFX. In the last tutorial, we have co we completed our modeling of this robot, so we are here now continuing the rendering part for this tutorial. So this is where we left. So now we'll start up today by creating up our materials for our robot. So first of all, let me set my render to V-Ray. Okay, it's in V-Ray. So I'll just load up a V-Ray material. Oops, sorry. Okay. Hit down here, V-Ray material. And then first of all, I'll just uh, create this white material for our head. Uh, just set the diffuse to white. Okay. And then we can add in some reflections, not too much. Okay. Also some reflection glossiness, maybe 0 0.95. I want to increase the subdivision up to 12 and I won't be needing any refraction but I can set it a bit to get some good result if not I'll just remove them later on uh, but I think uh, refraction is not so good in this case okay I think I won't be needing anything else for this one so let me assign it okay it's already assigned now let me go ahead create another V-Ray material and for this eye part I'll create kind of glue Sorry, blue color. Okay, somewhat like this. Also, some reflection right in here as well. Okay, and I want some glossiness, 0 0.8. And then the subdivision, maybe 20 for this one. And select all these three parts. Press F4 to see it better. Okay. So the materials are pretty simple. We just have three materials. So for the leg and the weapon, we'll use a similar material. So kind of a steel or chrome material. So let me go again, V-Ray material. And for this one, I'll just set the color to somewhat kind of gray, like this one maybe. Okay. And I want the reflection a lot, maybe up to this one some glossiness not too much 0 0.9 and some subdivisions as well maybe 15 and we don't have any glasses so we won't be using refraction again and let me select all my legs all my four weapons and assign this material okay once that done let me go ahead and create uh, okay we don't have it here so from down here V-Ray V-Ray plane and again I will need a plain white material for our plane uh, so just set it white no reflection or anything or if you want you can also add in some reflection okay and some glossiness 2.8 and some soft division okay let's see how it looks okay now let's go ahead and do a quick render and see how our rendering looks not bad for the starting okay the next thing we're going to set up our render okay single uh, for now I'll set it to 640 by 480 that's fine we don't need to save our render right now so okay now let me go to indirect illumination and turn on global illumination and ambient occlusion also if you want to set on GI casting for reflective or what so you can save that as well but I won't be needing them anything like that okay very radiance map high it's good if you want more high quality you can go to very high uh, you can turn on detail enhancement and subdivision multiplier maybe 0 0.4 okay let me go back to V-Ray I'll set this anti-aliasing filter to Catmull Roam let me go to VR environment and turn on GI and reflection environment. Um, I don't have any refraction, so I don't need that. Then let me open up my uh, material and set up uh, another plain material with white color and just drag it into my GI. Oops, sorry. It's not dragging. Okay, so uh, I guess I cannot add that material. So I'll just set a white color right here, so that's not matter. Then let me just change this to uh, 
V-Ray SGRI map. Down here, V-Ray SGRI. And I load up a SGRI map. I have this Chrome SGRI map. I'll be providing the link in the tutorial in the description that below to download this one. And then I can just drag it into my reflection refraction environment override. Okay. Then I'll go to rendering environment and set this color to white as well. With that done, let's go ahead and check in our render. So here's our render. Uh, it's looking pretty good, but uh, the reflection right here is looking too sharp. So I think we need to increase the uh, glossiness for that one. And everything else is looking pretty fine. Okay. So uh, let me go ahead and increase up the glossiness for this one. Maybe 0 0.8 or maybe 0 0.85. Okay. And subdivision up to maybe 18. Okay. So um, if we see our render, it's kind of like everything looks similar. So it's looking pretty flat, not so good. So let me create some variations. Uh, let me ungroup this one, all these legs. Uh, ungroup, group, ungroup, and again, group, ungroup. So let me select all these four pieces and apply a different material to, the, to them. Just apply this simple gray and we'll just edit this one now. V-ray material. We'll make it a little more grayish, darker grays maybe. Or maybe kind of black color. And add in some reflections as well. Okay, some glossiness, 0.95, subdivision to maybe 12, okay. Now let us check our another render, but before, let me go to render setup and let me add in a little bit of a blue tint, so our render will look pretty good. Then go to environment and also set the color similar to this one, okay. Let me just render. Okay, the tint is too much, so let's get back to white again. Okay, and also for our rendering environment, white here. Okay. Now let me go to indirect animation right here, and I want some more ambient occlusion, so maybe 1.2. Let's see, radius 11 and a bit more subdivision. Okay. And do another render. Okay, here is our final render. So I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, so it's looking pretty good. So now we can do what we can do is select all these robots, just group them, uh, robot, and then now we can just duplicate them to create kind of like this three maze, like this one, triple. Move this one a bad bit. Move this one and back as well. Now we can select a better render view or maybe pull this one a bit more back and this one as well like this okay now set a better view and you can just render one more thing you can do is if you don't like these colors are a bit too bright and then you can also uh, change um, some of those from here I guess somewhere around color mapping no Okay, you can just reduce this multiplier, maybe 0 0.5 like that. And also, um, primary bounces, secondary bounces right there. Okay, or you can do is just take this render and take it into Photoshop and play around with some um, brightness and contrast or curves, and you can really get some cool result. Okay, here is our final render after we uh, adjusted our uh, right here multiplier to 0 0.5. So everything looks gray. So if you like this uh, image, then you can just set the environment uh, from rendering to the similar color to this one. Just you can select like that.
to get a seamless background and this piece right here I think it needs to be a little more black and also this one I think it needs to be a little brighter but overall it looks good and so you can now go ahead and do some tests um, with these multipliers and so and also s these materials if you want you can also texture these weapons and so create something kind of like rusty texture or scratched metal so like that okay and also set a um, better position camera position to render it better kind of like this position right there okay like this one okay it's kind of like this way okay you can just set that position and then do a final high quality render HD render okay so I hope you guys enjoy this um, modeling and rendering tutorial see you guys soon with more tutorials and hope you guys will stay with me and support me by liking my videos and also subscribing thank you very much for watching see you next time